Do you remember Jack Layton, the beloved Canadian politician? He suffered from prostate cancer that spread over to his other organs. It is this cancer spread known as metastasis that killed him. This is the worst case scenario for cancer patients. Indeed, metastatic cancer kills millions of people every year. The goal of my PhD study is to find a way to stop cancer spread. <coughs> Good afternoon, my name is Sufeng, a PhD student from experimental surgery. Now let's picture cancer like weeds invading your garden. In order to get rid of the weeds, you cannot just tear off the visible parts, but have to remove the roots and the seeds. This should be the same principle for cancer treatment. Not only must remove the tumor mass, but also to kill the cancer cells that initiate the tumors. Unfortunately, current cancer therapy only kill the cancer cells that glow fast, but not the one that drive the tumors. In fact, solid tumor can shed cancer cells into the bloodstream that we call circulating tumor cells. These cancer cells can act like seeds spread cancer. More importantly, they they can act like seeds to spread cancer. More importantly, they can remain inactive for years in your body, then suddenly spread cancer all over when your immune system goes down. In order to invade your body, this cancer spread seeds exploit a process called apicinian to myosin chimeric transition that required for normal wound healing. Moreover, a molecular named TGF beta can promote this process, act like a fertilizer to boost the cancer cells spread. However, there is good news. Our lab discovered a new TGF beta inhibitor that can counteract its infection, make the fertilizer less effective to promote a cancer spread. During my PhD, I will look at this inhibitor to see how it can be used as therapeutic agent to fight against cancer. Thank you all for listening. Thanks to my PhD supervisor, Dr. Annie Philip.